Stephen Kellogg, an American author and illustrator, is the creator of over 100 children's books such as Pinkerton Behave, The Day Jimmy's Boa Ate the Wash, and many retold folk tales like Paul Bunyan. Kellogg's books are targeted towards a younger audience. He wrote easy readers and picture storybooks. His easy readers include the Pinkerton book series. This series contains simple sentences and an easy plotline to follow. Many of his books are retold tall tales. He has retold several stories from traditional literature, such as The Three Little Pigs, Jack and the Beanstalk, and The Three Sillies. Kellogg has also dedicated several books to reimagining American labor stories. He has written books about Pico's Bill, Paul Bunyan, and Johnny Appleseed. These stories are recognizable by children and easy to follow along to. Kellogg included animals in many of his storybooks. He has been quoted as saying, I find any kind of animal story irresistible. His most popular animal series about a great day named Pinkerton is inspired by Kellogg's own spotted great Dane. The cat from the Pinkerton series, Rose, is also modeled after Kellogg's pet cat. Because his books are targeted towards younger children, the plots are not complex. Problems in the story are often simple and easily relatable. In the story of Pinkerton misbehaving, children can easily understand a dog being bad and therefore can connect better with the storyline. Because his books are geared towards younger readers, the plot of every book is self-contained. Even within the Pinkerton series, every storyline is resolved by the end of the book. He rarely asks his readers to fill in the blanks with his story, even though leaving parts of the story to the reader's imagination can help engage the reader and enhance the experience. Since many of his books are easy readers, metaphors and other literary devices are kept to a minimum. Also, his books have no moral stance. They are just fun books for kids to enjoy. Because many of his books were written in the 80s during a politically conservative time, most of his characters he writes about are traditional Americans. His characters are white and don't have anything special like a disability. Kellogg employs many different artistic styles in his illustrations. He likes to play with the element of design. His illustrations range from having two picture panels on a page to having a single picture covering a double page spread. In this way, he signals to the readers how to interpret the images. In addition, he uses many colors and puts in a great details and the details are so in-depth that the reader does not even need the text to understand the storyline. Another element in Kellogg's illustration is his characterization. He gives his characters their own features to identify them by. His characterization helps the readers identify someone from scene to scene. An example of this is in Pinkerton Behaves. The girl wears her hair the same with the same headband. He uses realism and surrealism in his drawings. Most of his pictures depict the world how it looks, but he adds surrealism to make the story fun, like in the mysterious tadpole. The picture text relationship is not too complicated. The picture is usually the result of what is said in the text. In this picture, the text is about the farmer yelling at pigs, and that is what the illustration shows. He draws in a third person perspective. It is as if you are a camera looking at the scene. Most of his pictures have borders around them. It slows the reader down and shows that you should read into both the writing and picture. Although his illustrations are bordered, his art overlaps the edges, which makes the pictures and scenes more dynamic. Steve Kellogg has created many interesting books. His books are fun, so it engages children and gets kids to read and to enjoy.